Do you have a beautiful lawn like this with a beautiful flower garden? And maybe you want to plant some vegetables. Well, instead of tilling up this beautiful lawn, I've got a better idea for you. Along the edge, you like to plant some of your flowers. How about if you dig up an area, like my dad did here, and turn this into a vegetable garden? This is my dad. He's part of our quarantine. Dad, you've done a nice job on this. What do you grow here? We grow tomatoes and uh, peppers. Usually just green peppers. Don't like hot peppers. Uh, anything that kids will eat. <laughs> yeah, now you have a fancy cultivator there. So show everybody that. Yep, this is a like a rake, but it's a cultivator and it really works nice. Okay, so yours is pointed and mine is just a regular garden rake, but what we're really trying to do is kind of loosen up this soil a little, right? Well, he's had a lot of years to put some good stuff in the soil. So I'm in uh, Lenawee County, southern part of Lenawee County, and we have a lot of clay soil here. But you can see that this soil is nice and light, and that's what you want inside your garden. If you have grass, you might need to get, make sure you kill the grass first and then get a big rototiller in here to fluff up your soil. But they've also done another big thing here in this bed. They've used this edging here to actually raise the bed and fill it with good compost and other good nutrients and lighter soil so that they'll actually be able to grow some vegetables in here pretty easily. And of course, this is an established bed, so if you are just starting out, you're gonna wanna make sure you put a lot of composted manure in your flower bed so that when the plants really get in here, Dad, they're gonna have a lot of food to be fed and grow real big, right? That is a little bit of lime and that also helps give the, it sweetens the soil a little bit and helps those plants grow, right Dad? Yeah, that's right. All right, well we are gonna get into this dirt and get out there and get growing.